The wastewater treatment plant you see behind me in Mason hasn't been updated since 1976, which means it's outdated and too small. Last month, nearly 4 million gallons of partially treated wastewater were bypassed into the Sycamore Creek after heavy rainfall. And the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy says that cannot continue. There's a nearly $20 million price tag on the city's proposed upgrades to the Department of Public Works and the wastewater treatment plant. But thanks to Representative Alyssa Slotkin advocating for the project, $3.5 million of that will be paid for by the federal government. You know, we solicited proposals from local governments all across mid Michigan in my district, and um, we got a ton in, I think over 50, and we started vetting them and really digging in. And the project in Mason um, really survived the gauntlet of all of these requirements and all this vetting. And then um, it passed all of the sort of tests, not just in my office, but also in Washington with the Appropriations Committee. So um, they got $3.5 million for this project, and that was the highest um, amount of money that we received for any of our community projects. We were really happy for Mason. But Mason wasn't the only mid-Michigan municipality to receive funding. So in addition to wastewater treatment plant in Mason, we did similar projects in Williamston, so really close by, and then also Fowlerville. They also won really big amounts, um, I think 3 million and 3.5 million as well. We also got more money for social workers to the Lansing Police Department. If you add all of those projects up, Mid Michigan is getting a total of 16 million federal dollars. As for the wastewater treatment plant project in Mason. So you have three and a half million secured. What about the, the rest of the project? Uh, the rest of the project will be secured. There's uh, uh, some money that will come from our local, de de local development finance authority. Uh, and then really the balance is going to be picked up from uh, user fees paying down bonds. We'll have to bond for it. Whipple said user fees could increase by up to 40%. But the city of Mason's water and sewer rates are still going to be in the middle or the lower half of anybody in the area. The project itself will be done in two phases. Whipple said the hope is that the Department of Public Works facility will be moved to Temple Street in 2023, and the expansion of the wastewater treatment plant is probably a few years out. Reporting from Your Neighborhood in Mason, I'm Lauren Shields, Fox 47 News.